we've sold some of our sheep, some of our goats, and some of our chooks have gone off um, to live with some of our staff. <laughs> Rip it out of my hand. <laughs> the Collingwood Children's Farm is a not-for-profit community farm. It started in 1979. We closed our doors on March the 25th. The farm survives on income from entry fees and uh, renting the space out for a wedding venue. So when weddings were cancelled or could only have, I think it was five people or something, and obviously we couldn't get money from entry fees, um, our revenue ground to a halt. The biggest challenge for me was uh, having to stand down staff. I lost sleep over it and I became quite emotional at points. I think the staff here saw me cry a couple of times. Hello Connor, if you're available can you please head up to the office? Our main purpose is to support people in the community experiencing adversity. So we do that by running a number of um, socially inclusive educational sort of programs where we engage groups in lots of work doing jobs all over the farm. When people you know, were concerned that the farm might be closing down, the generosity and the outpouring of community uh, support has been overwhelming. There's been lots of people calling up, can we help? We've got feed, we've got grain, we've got a backyard, we could house some chickens. So that's been very, very beautiful to see. We were invited into a new venture called Moving Feast and it's a number of social enterprises working together to tackle food security or food insecurity. We've repurposed some of our paddock space to growing food. Growing food has meant that we can still be fulfilling our mission which is to support people in the community that need support. Oh. Oh.